How are you, Chris? Good. How are you doing, Javier? Great. Thank you very much. So, very quiet car. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, we're in the third generation Honda Insight. This is a 19, 2019 model? 2019 model, yes. Yeah. I get always confused because sometimes we're in January and we're showing the next year's car yep. and sometimes it's like the following year one. Anyway. Yep. So, third generation and Honda actually most people think about Toyota bringing the first hybrid to the U.S., but it was you guys, Honda, right? In 1997, yes. ahead of the... Of the uh, yeah, we brought the first generation Insight here. Uh, it achieved 70 miles per gallon in the old testing. It was a little uh, two-seater uh, compact hybrid vehicle, and it was a and great to be honest, coupe. Not, not the best design. Well, <laughs> well most people you know, didn't really like it, but it design was the right aerodynamics, right? <laughs> design subjective, but you know, there a lot of people great really love that car for fuel efficiency. Exactly. And you know, really introduce people to some of the benefits and the capabilities that you can achieve in fuel economy with a hybrid yeah. vehicle. So, let's leap 20, what, 21 years ahead, and now here we are. And, and I guess from what I've been hearing, you guys, the designers, the engineers, and all that, the emphasis in this car is not that it's a hybrid. It's like it's like a quote-unquote normal car with great design, great technology, that also <coughs> happens to be a hybrid and giving you, what, 51 miles a gallon or something like that? Yeah, totally. So we took the approach of, first and foremost, it needs to be a great compact sedan. You know, and we wanted to elevate the um, premium refined nature of that vehicle to make sure that we reach audiences who may have been on the fence with a hybrid in the past, maybe thought, okay, I gotta sacrifice styling, or I gotta sacrifice performance, or do I lose cargo space, or whatever else. We really took the approach of making sure that as a customer, when they get into this car, they don't have to sacrifice or compromise on any of those important things. They get a great drive, along with that great fuel economy that comes with it, up to 55 miles per gallon in the city, as well as the great packaging of you know cargo space that's not compromised in any way, shape, or form with the trunk, along with the passenger space, a full um, trunk pass through. Yeah, you move the battery pack on the back of the exactly. Back seat, so right? in in past hybrids, the battery has kind of sort of been between the back seat and the trunk because of the size of that battery pack, and we were able to shrink the size, make it lighter, put it right underneath the rear seat, and now we have no compromise to that cargo space. And also, um, the previous generation, maybe not in the case of the inside because that was a, a hybrid from the beginning, right? But in some other uh, cars, the hybrid system <coughs> is added to the platform of the normal car, of the gas mm -hmm. engine car. In this case, everything, what, this is designed over the, over the Civic platform, right? So we, but, but redesigned really within that to accommodate the hybrid system. Totally, so we started with the foundation being the 10th generation Civic platform. And that platform has been really well received, very highly regarded, um, and you know Civic continues to have record sales year over year over year. It's about but to reach 25 million units in, I, in the world. I it's a, wow. immensely impressive what Civic is able to achieve, and that is a great vehicle for customers looking for it. But when we took the approach of starting with that platform, to your point earlier, we had to make changes, like yeah. on the underfloor in the rear making sure that there was space for that battery to slot underneath the rear seat as well as all of the exterior paneling except for the roof and the rear quarter panel okay. being 100 percent unique to insight and also the hybrid po uh, powertrain obviously this is the newest generation and can you explain a little bit uh how it works because it's different from <coughs> other hybrid systems, right? And so it, it will give the, the drivers a different experience. So our two motor hybrid drivetrain, this is our third generation of this system. Um, and basically it acts in a couple different ways. So you can run in an EV only mode where the battery is basically powering the motor directly. Yeah. And you know, the car is then going just on electric only. It can work in a hybrid mode where the engine is powering a generator which is then powering the motor along with the battery alongside so they're both working in tandem and then also you can run in an engine only mode where we we decouple from you know the rest of the battery or motor or anything and then you're just running at, at cruising highway speeds on a very efficient 1.5 liter Atkinson engine the, in, the 1.5 liter engine delivers 40.5 percent thermal efficiency which is among the world's best in internal combustion engines. So in a way from what I'm understanding you're saying is like the car picks up the best or the most efficient way of, of pushing, exactly. sending the energy 
uh, independent depending on the conditions of it, the drive. Totally, it's okay. going to adjust based on what you're trying to achieve. So whether you're driving in the city, whether you're just parked at a stoplight or whatever else, like we're about to do, yeah. or whether or not you're cruising at highway speeds, it's going to try and find the balance of efficiency to optimize accordingly. But you have that power if you need it. Mm -hmm. And we also have within the um, throttle, you know, at about the 75 point, you can feel a difference as you're crossing over to go full throttle oh, yeah, on like the accelerator. Yeah. yeah. And so before that, you're basically in, in a more balanced and, and optimized towards fuel efficiency. As you feel that click over, you're now going for full throttle and you're you know now using maximum power less efficiency that's sort of there to coach the driver so that they know when they're crossing that point between efficiency and performance and um, this car is part of the strategy that Honda announced a couple years ago I believe to achieve uh, uh, two-thirds of its cars being in electrified in some way by 2030 it is it? yeah so 2030 we've announced that our goal is to have two-thirds of our global fleet to be electrified vehicles and insight certainly is part of an early phase for that of an approach to get customers comfortable with electrified vehicles hybrids are a very easy way of getting people that are used to a gas car yeah. to start to be comfortable with a car that's not just a gas engine but also utilizes the benefits of a battery for fuel economy and for other benefits as well but in reality i mean as much as some people aren't willing to accept that this is coming this is coming right i mean this is going to happen not only with honda all, all the manufacturers are going to have to do this well the... we certainly believe that there's a lot of benefits yeah. to electrified vehicles as well as the benefit to the environment overall and that's sort of been a philosophy within our our company so and you know again as you mentioned at the beginning you know, one of the things that we we've been involved in electrification for decades yeah. being the first to bring a hybrid vehicle to market in the u.s along with our electrified uh, evs as well as fuel cell vehicles like the current clarity series that has a fuel cell battery electric and a plug-in hybrid yeah. we've been involved in this space for a very long time we've learned a lot over the years and that's allowed us to bring to market this great hybrid in the 2019 insight as well okay finally the maybe the most important thing for most people is the pricing so now you have the insight hybrid the clarity hybrid i don't know if that was in that order mm -hmm. price wise and then the accord hybrid right yep. is that correct yeah so we have those three so insight starts at 22,830. that's msrp um, in the base trim for insight Accord Hybrid's the next level up, a midsize sedan, and that starts at 25,100. That's the hybrid version. And then we have the Clarity plug-in that starts, I believe, about 33,000. So obviously there's gonna be a little bit overlapping in some of the trims because for this one you have three, right? Yes, yeah, so we have three trims here. We've got an LX, an EX, and a Touring trim. An EX trim you get for 24,060, and that gives you a little bit more connectivity features like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. But then we also have a Touring trim um, at 28,090, which gives you uh, even more creature comforts like the vehicle we're driving here today with everything. leather seats, uh, sunroof. sunroof, among a myriad of other features. And also on all of, in all of our insights, the LX, EX, and Touring, they all come standard with our latest Honda Sensing safety and driver assistive features. Which so collision mitigation braking, road departure mitigation, adaptive cruise control with low speed follow as well as lane keep assist and one of my favorite features <laughs> as well as honda lane watch honda that lane is on watch, this vehicle yeah. on the ex and touring trips yeah. yep uh, actually when we were on the highway i was driving i know it's not an autonomous driving car but like you can let go the, the steering wheel and when you have every all the systems on it still it keeps you on the lane and like does a, a little bit so it makes the, the driving experience much more comfortable and and makes you gives you a better safer sense of Yes, I, I would encourage you to still keep your hands on the wheel. <laughs> well, but the car does. You don't the have car to do it. Yes, the car and the car it. does tell you. But yeah. it, you know, it, it does. The system works very well, um, and it, it you know those safety features that are part of Honda Sensing um, have a big impact on safety, and it's one of the things that we believe strongly in. We have over a million vehicles on the road today that have Honda Sensing, uh, and we have a target of by 2022 to have 100 percent of our vehicles. Uh, equipped with all of our Honda Sensing technology. So, yeah. excellent. Yeah. Thank you very much for the yep. time. And I understand that uh, you have uh, something to do after this. Oh so yeah, I gotta I'm gonna go, let you go. I gotta now, go okay? try and get on a Honda jet. So <laughs> I will. Okay. Uh,
Talk to you guys all later. Please Thank fasten you. passenger seat belt. Oh, you're, you're rushing. <laughs> I <laughs> want to leave. Let me out. Jump, let the, me out. jump the gun go, slightly. Go. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye.